Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the encounter. This is another wonderful day, the day that the Lord has made, the day that we should be glad and rejoice in it. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Ever heard of that phrase, knowledge is power? Yes, it is. Why do you think we have the haves and the have-nots? Given that we have the same resource, our mind, that we have talked about this in our previous videos, given the fact that we all have the same resource, our mind, why do we have the haves and the have-nots? That means there is something that I know that we don't. Obviously, there is something that makes them have that makes the other person not to have. That aside, we have people saying we are looking up to the government to do this and that. Do you know how governments make money? You are the people who pay the government. Government makes money through your taxes. You pay your taxes, the government gets revenue, and they run projects. If your taxes that you raise are not enough, then they go ahead and borrow the deficit, and then they'll be able to do their things. So that means you can be looking, at this age you can be looking at the government to help you with something. But you have to find ways to earn a living. We don't make money. We don't have the capacity to make money. Governments don't have the capacity to make money either. The only people who have the capacity to make money are the Federal Reserve and Central Banks. Those are the only people who can make money. The rest of us we have to earn or to offer a service uh, to offer a service for you to make to earn that money you're not making money we cannot make money so you have to offer something to earn that one month's debt is another month's income and the other month's income is another month's debt that is how it forms a circle and we all pay the government so we don't look for government to help us get the money but we pay the government if we make them if we if we earn the money we pay our taxes and that's how the government make the money or earn the money because we, we say there are only two people who can make money federal reserve and central banks the rest of it we have to earn so why do we have the haves and the have nots and i realized that this can be achieved through ownership it is ownership how do you then get this ownership how do you gain this ownership if you find that that thing that you will offer for you to be able to earn money you need to get a service you need to be a servant you need to serve people you need to serve you need to you know sell a product you need to to find something that is of help to humanity and one thing that these haves have is they let their money work for them they don't trade their time for money like they don't go and work you know for a certain time or certain hours to be paid this money so they don't trade their time for money but they let their money work for them and this is the point where I quote Warren Buffett when he said, 
if you can't find a way to make money while you sleep then you will work till you die and that's right so the reason why we have the haves and the half notes is that there's something that they know that others don't and this is ownership how do you gain ownership we have so many ways to make your money work for you or make money while you sleep and the thing is think of how do you buy back your freedom how do you buy back your freedom for example you have a phone and you have a phone service so you have a phone bill you have to pay this bill every month have you ever thought of owning that company that gives you that service and you're like oh i'm not smart enough i can start my own business i can run my own business okay how about buy into that business so that every transaction you make leads you somewhere how about buy a share in that company that you pay your bills to just get some shares so that every time this company makes money you also make money and that is building your equity that way you leverage on that company have you ever had this big people they say they have shares in this and that company and therefore a share or a stock is a part owning part of that company that means you own that company so if i pay my bills to a certain phone company uh, that gives me a certain service or even the, 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 the your, your electric bill that money goes towards making you money and even you know when you are asleep you will be able to be making something for you to be able to find ways to make money while you sleep you need to think and rethink of getting some shares or stocks or whatever thing be the owner of this company you always like people like wearing brands like you wear nike you wear adidas you wear whatever the brand that you like to wear have you ever thought of ownership build your equity why not buy into that company so that every other time you go buy the shoe you make the company profitable and you own that business the reasons why we have the haves and the half notes is because the haves have find ways to make their money work for them they don't trade their time for money but they buy into these companies ownership equity build your equity build however little it is you can buy a share and the moment you own a share or a stock or a part of this business you have the voting rights you can decide what happens in this company because now you own the company and every time you even pay uh, you even pay your bills you are not you know you, you you are willingly doing so because you know we are trying to build this company because at the end of the day it makes you something so it's ownership it's true ownership it's true building your equity building your assets leverage on these opportunities and you will be able to make the difference knowledge is power you are what you eat if you eat junky food you don't blame yourself for not being healthy if you eat healthy 
you will be healthy what do you normally read or how do you want your life to be so your life will be how you want to live it do you ever take time to read the books on stocks do you ever take time to read uh, financial intelligence do you ever take your time to check what's going on on the markets in this day and age i believe 